motorhomes. They come in all sizes and in all prices. These trucks top out at about a quarter of a million and in excess of a million pounds. They can be like five-star hotels on four. The shower cubicle with all gold fittings, gold taps. Or many more wheels. I love this door. It's like uh, something James Bond would have on his motorhome. Offering a world of luxury and convenience. Full-sized porcelain toilet, dishwasher. Every high-tech gadget. Star Trek doors, all on air. In fact, everything you could dream of. I chose an Amira that I had shipped in from India and my Moroccan sink. With a sense of freedom like no other holiday. When you get a free weekend, you can just go. The world will literally be on your doorstep. We did a, a whole tour of Spain and Portugal. I've driven a motor home to the Arctic Circle. Whether it's for the weekend. Cheers. Happy day. Or maybe longer. We've got to drive around the world. Join us for an insider's view on how the other half live. Each glass is specifically made for this motorhome. And travel. Here we go. Coming up. Welcome aboard the motorhome. We'll get the lowdown on one of the most luxurious motorhomes money can buy. It's just a lovely, lovely piece of art on wheels. The couple who are planning a 10-year around-the-world trip in a custom-built motorhome. Whew, that's made the old heart race a little bit. And the man who just can't stop buying motorhomes. 14th, 15th phone. And his wife, who wishes he would. I can't keep doing it. I really can't. Camping in Britain conjures up images of rain-soaked summers, two weeks in soggy sleeping bags, of families packed into tiny caravans like sardines. You go into these caravans and they had like tea bags for, for pillows on the beds and uh, the shower curtains always used to stick to you, you know, it was absolutely awful. Well, of course, you couldn't have Nookie in them because they'd tip up. <laughs> but those days are over. Since the rise of affordable motorhoming in the 1960s, everything's changed. Those days of wet sleeping bags, backache, I think they're over. Once you've gone and had a holiday in a nice motor home, you never look back. Thanks to cutting-edge engineering and advances in technology, holidaying on the road is now pure pleasure. Some of my friends have spent hundreds of thousands into the millions on motor homes. I mean, they have dreamt it, they have built it, and it's absolutely incredible what you can do. Two people who are also building their own motorhome are Londoners David and Charlotte Stevenson, and they're soon to embark on the trip of a lifetime. A lot of people drive Europe and America, North America, whatever, and we were like, nah, we've got to drive around the world. It's just got to be around the world. They have given up their careers and even their home to crisscross the globe, all in the name of adventure. I think for us, living the dream is packing our belongings into a motorhome and driving around the world. David recently sold an online training business, and Charlotte was a very well-established hairdresser. They were drawn together through a love of travel. Between us, we have done about 100 countries. North Korea. Ethiopia. Somaliland. China. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> And it was whilst in Tibet that Charlotte had an idea that was going to change their lives forever. Up pools, and I think it was a Dutch overlander, a rugged camper van, and we were like, I have to have one of those. So we bought an ex-military troop carrier. An overlander is a mega motorhome designed to take whatever the world can throw at it, but they don't come straight out of the showroom. Gary Shears of Motorcraft Adventure Development buys decommissioned military vehicles and turns them into overlanders. So we have about 12 vehicles in build at any one time. We build around six vehicles, complete vehicles a year. Each overlander is converted by a team of engineers by hand to the exact specification of the customer and often take more than a year to build. We can literally build you whatever you want. If you can imagine it, we can build it. But as you would expect, a mega motorhome comes with a mega price tag. Entry-level vehicles start at £150,000, right up to, well, in excess of a million pounds, depending exactly on the specification that you want. 
on our walkie-talkies. With their overlander topping out at around £350,000 and another 350,000 grand minimum budget for travel expenses, David and Charlotte have rented out their London house to fund this once in a lifetime trip. We feel like two school children, I think, yeah. at Christmas. I mean, um, apprehensive as well. I've got to admit, we are, uh, you know, well, because there is, you don't know what the journey's going to throw at us. With new tenants moving into David and Charlotte's flat tomorrow, time is running out for the team of engineers. The couple are praying their home on wheels for possibly the next decade will be ready to roll. The roof tent. Will it meet their expectations for this journey of a lifetime? If we need that. In Nuneaton, company owners Alan and Ann Lawson love motorhomes. But over the years, Alan may have let his love affair become something of an obsession. 14th, 15th fun. No. Something like that. I get a loose track. Always looking for the better model. Having spent over a million pounds over the years, he's traded his way through 14 different motorhomes in 14 years, and his wife, Anne, has had enough. Doesn't matter what he has, he'll never be happy. He just goes up and up, and each time it's the perfect van. And then he goes, find a bugbear. It could be a rattle. It could be a squeak. It could just be the fact that he can't get round the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest bugbear. Uh, you know, the minute he finds that anything, anything wrong with a vehicle, that's it. It's got to go. I can't keep doing it. I really can't. So today, Alan is off to collect what could be the end of his journey for the perfect forever motorhome. Uh, the motorhome of fetching today is a, a Concorde um, Charisma 850L. At the moment, I would, I would have said it's about the most expensive vehicle in the UK for sale. Over at the South Downs Motorhome Centre near Portsmouth, Alan's potentially perfect new motorhome awaits him. At upwards of £350,000, his 15th and hopefully final motorhome needs to be spot on. So what is it that will make this one the one? The difference between that one and the one I've got now, it has a front lounge, where this model I've got now has a rear lounge. And it has a, a fixed large single beds at the rear of the van, where this has a drop down single beds at the front. The bathroom in it is slightly bigger. I'm not the slimmest of people in the world, so I need a large bathroom. To be able to afford what has been described as the most luxurious 7.5-ton motorhome in Europe, Alan has had to start from humble beginnings. Could I go out especially and purchase a top-of-the-range van cash? I'm, no. I'm not a millionaire by far, but the fact of the matter is I've worked my way up to where I am. The first motorhome I owned was a, a Buccaneer coaster. I kept that van for well over a year, and when I came to sell it, the trading value was a couple of thousand pounds more than what I paid for it. After 14 years, will this new motorhome be good enough for Alan and for wife Anne? This new van that I'm getting has got to be me forever van. Coming up, inside Britain's first mega motorhome. A Presto is a full walk-in wardrobe. Behind the scenes of a motorhome factory, and David and Charlotte step inside their home for the next 10 years. In the world of the luxury motorhome, things don't come much bigger or more expensive than this. A motorhome whose very name has become the stuff of legend. The icon is a five-star hotel on wheels that can be yours for a starting price of £4,000 a night. Owned by Andrew Morris, it's part of his multi-million pound collection of one-off motor vehicles, like this classic Formula One Lotus Lamborghini racing car. This is the largest, most desirable motorhome in the United Kingdom currently. Built for Formula One driver Jacques Villeneuve, and later owned by fellow racing legend Jensen Button. 
When it comes to life on the road, world champions do it with no expense spared. These people are born winners. They need to be pampered, looked after. The lavish interior is partly thanks to its first owner's then girlfriend. This particular motorhome was designed by Jacques Villeneuve and his then fiance, Danny Minogue. So here we are. Welcome aboard the motorhome. A variety of things, uh, but some specific things. This is, um, I know, it's a very special chair, Jensen's favourite chair, so he's sort of relaxed on this. Got a granite floor. We have underfloor heating here, some wall to wall leather, <laughs> Bose surround sound. The drapes are all electronically controlled. <laughs> all the kitchen and all everything you see here is actually all a one off. Each glass is specifically made for this motorhome. We have a full-size American fridge here. We've got a case of champagne chilling at the moment. For a bit of extra privacy, Star Trek doors all on air. The shower cubicle with all gold fittings. Obviously, all gold taps. You've got a, a black toilet. It's got its own individual thermostat. Press this, this button here. Hey, presto, is a full walk-in wardrobe. But it's in the icon's bedroom that things become a little more interesting. Moving up to the mirrored ceiling, um, obviously a lot of thought gone into this. Obviously. It's absolutely glorious. It's just a lovely, lovely piece of art on wheels. And it's not just the fixtures and fittings that make it so legendary. For upwards of £4,000 a night, you too could live the A-list life. Mixing star chefs, a specific type of flower, a colour scheme, um, champagne, cigars, you want whatever you want. There are people who just w will spend six-figure sums over a period of four or five days. There really is no limits. And the best part of this luxury stay, it's up to you where you want to be. Monaco or Manchester, it really makes the odds for us. The motorhome travels so the experience will be just the same. Not everyone will be lucky enough to stay for a weekend, let alone own a motorhome as luxurious as this. But ownership of affordable vehicles is at an all-time high. The motorhome market is incredibly busy at the moment. I think everyone's been thinking, oh, how about a motorhome? And they've dashed out and they've actually gone and bought them. The Caravan and Motorhome Club now has over one million members, and in the last 10 years, registration of new vehicles has grown by over 80%. I think the UK population have always been in love with motorhomes. I certainly know from my experience, if I turn up at someone's home, they all want to have a look inside, and they all want to go, wow, look at that, I didn't know they had that. With the average price of a motorhome around £80,000, having one of your own isn't cheap. No two motorhomes are exactly the same. Everyone will want to customise their motorhome to a degree. You could even have a motorhome built specifically for you by a bespoke specialist. You're limited probably by your imagination and definitely by your wallet. You look at these absolute dream vehicles and think, I'm going to have one of those one day. Currently, there's over a quarter of a million motorhomes in the UK. Many sold at trade fairs, like the Lincolnshire Motorhome Show. And that's exactly where Tiggy Wood of IH Motorhomes is headed today. We are a motorhome manufacturer. We specialise in building panel van conversions. For me today, I think I really am um, looking forward to seeing, talking to customers about the IH product, but ultimately I do really want to sell a motorhome. It's, it's what we're there to do, it's our, it's our job. And for Tiggy, it's straight into the pitch. Would you like me to open it up so you can have a look in? Just dropping down your back cushion, pull out this and then drop your extension in. You've got a large wardrobe to this side of you as well, okay. behind a mirror. It's been really busy. The industry just seems to have gone boom. We've sold a lot of motorhomes. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get all your bits and bobs in there. But why are we currently going crazy for motorhomes? I think the great thing about motorhomes is the, the freedom that it offers you. With something like this, you can park it on your drive, keep it stocked up, and when you get a free weekend, you can just go. Look forward to seeing you on Collection Day. It's a job well done for Tiggy.
as another £70,000 motorhome is sold and ready to give many years of enjoyment out on the open road. Most motorhomes come equipped with every mod con, but there's always room to spend just a little bit more cash on making it just the way you want it. Internet gadget expert Tommy Adebayo guides us through some must-haves. If you own a motorhome, you don't want to be caught short without waste disposal or water. Incinerator toilets are the ones to have to put all those worries to bed. It uses electric heat to burn the waste into small amounts of bacteria-free ash. Four people using the incinerator toilet for a week would only produce a small amount of ash that will fill a small teacup. It's virtually odour-free and it's a hygienic way of getting rid of toilet waste when on the move. It will set you back between £3,300 and £3,740. So no more emptying out the chemical toilet. A very welcome gadget indeed. And if you're craving a margarita miles from the nearest pizzeria, fear not. Bring the taste of Italy to your motorhome. For £1,200, the Della Vita pizza oven will make you an authentic wood-fire cooked pizza in just 90 seconds. Now that's a slice of luxury. Or if you need something a bit smaller to warm your cockles, this might be of interest. The Outbecker portable wood burning stove produces over three kilowatts of heat and weighs just 12 kilograms. It has folding legs for transportation and the cooking surface can be used for boiling kettles or preparing an alfresco dinner for wherever you are. Remove the hot plate cover and you have access to the open flames. So toast your marshmallows and watch the fire roar. For £190, the Outbecker portable wood burning stove could be yours. Just be careful of those marshmallows on the upholstery. Come and see my number plate. Isn't that great? Julian Grindle is a man of taste. That plate costs just over £10,000. Property developer and hugely successful furniture designer, Julian owns his own team of classic racing cars. The first race car we bought was yellow with a white roof. And so we said straight away, it's a custard tart. And that became our name for our race team, the custard tart. But there is something Julian loves more than a garage full of highly desirable, rare and costly vintage racing cars. And that's his motorhome. Let's kind of have a look inside. His very large and very expensive motorhome. I love this door. It's like uh, something James Bond would have on his motorhome. Not that he's got a motorhome, but anyway. So, no keys. Now everybody in the country knows my code. The code isn't 007, just in case Mr Bond is watching. But it was this love of motor racing that threw up a problem for Julian. When you go motor racing all over the country, you need somewhere to stay. And sometimes some of these circuits are a long way away from pubs and hotels, things of that nature. So we went and bought a motorhome. So come aboard. And so a love affair began with the motorhome. So let's have a go with the slide out. So we have to put on the 12 volt, throw this switch here, and then the theater begins. The slide-out section dramatically increases the living space inside, like something a Bond buddy would be proud of. Yeah, so now we've got, well, I call it a Manhattan penthouse, but on wheels. <laughs> but yeah, see how it transforms the space. But they don't come cheap. Expect to pay around £10,000 for the privilege of more living space. But it isn't just the size that's impressive. These trucks tend to top out at about quarter of a million. Um, and during that process of ticking the form, I'm one of these guys that ticks all the extras. And outside, there's another rather special surprise. And this is where we keep our pit bike, our red Vespa. Obviously, we're, we're very lucky to have quite a prestigious truck, so when we turn up at these events, uh, we're certainly doing it in style. Such as Julian's love of his £250,000 motorhome, his other passions have been put on the back burner. One of the things we treated ourselves to was a lovely apartment down in Porto Venus in Spain. The jet set seemed to congregate there. There's lots of extremely wealthy people, uh, and they can be a great deal of fun to hang out with. But we haven't been there for 18 months. It's because we have begun to enjoy our motorhome more than traveling down to our apartment in Spain. 
But if you aren't quaffing a large sangria with the cream of the European mega rich, where do you take a motorhome worth more than a quarter of a million quid? Where we're going today is fantastic. I believe it's one of the best campsites in the country. So today, Julian is taking his beloved mega motorhome down to a rather special campsite, a new breed of site that has been totally designed around the needs of these luxury vehicles to meet his rather special friends. With more people like Julian enjoying the great British staycation, motorhome dealers across the UK have been running low on stock. Baileys of Bristol is one of our biggest suppliers and they've been busier than ever. Run by brothers Simon and Nick Howard, they've been producing top spec motorhomes since the 1940s. The great thing about a motorhome holiday is, is the freedom and the flexibility. You really can go uh, where you want, when you want. Um, I've driven a motorhome to the Arctic Circle, so the top, top of uh, Finland. I've also driven a motorhome to Istanbul and back. And I guess the key difference going to visit these places in a motorhome rather than flying is you get to see all the places in between. So a motorhome really is a fantastic way to see the world. We have 350 people here on the production line. It will take about eight hours from start to finish for us to build one motorhome model. So three brand new vehicles are produced every day. That's hundreds of millions of pounds worth of motorhomes a year. So here we are at station nine. We're about the third of the way through the process. And what you've got here is, is the Haynes diagram of a motorhome, if you like, where you can see all the inside without the, the panels, the body shell panels going on. As this demand for magnificent motorhomes has increased over the last 10 years, they've adapted their products for adventure and home comforts. As you can see, the electrics are really complex now. You have charging points for your smartphones and your tablets, fully equipped kitchens. They all come with proper heating systems. It's a far more sophisticated vehicle now, because generally just people want to be able to uh, have all the luxuries um, when they're away from home. So behind me here on the right, this is one of the side panels. As you can see, it's fully prepared. So the windows have been put in, the window blinds and fly screens have been put on. So basically the team will pick this up and then add this to the motorhome assembly as the next part of the process. It all adds up to one very stylish way to hit the road. And the price of this freedom is around £60,000. But if tarmac bores you to tears, you may want to take your trip off-road. Like adventure-loving husband and wife team David and Charlotte Stevenson, who have arrived in Doncaster on a day that could change their lives forever. Hi, guys. Hi. How are we? Hi. Hi. Ring. Oh, you go. Yeah. After almost one and a half years construction time, and at a cost of over £350,000, it's time to see their new home for the very first time. But does it live up to their expectations? Oh, Perfect. superb. And my tiles. <laughs> Ooh, got my tiles. So all the bits that you've hand-picked, we've managed yeah, to yeah, fit into you your have... build for you, exactly how That's you want it. it to be. And the oven. You yeah. see, you've got the oven in yeah. as well. And absolutely. With that. The yeah, fridge freezer the fridge. just looks immense. And the handles look good, don't they? Yeah, yeah they work yeah. Yeah. well. It's everything Those you want from the, yeah. a home in Wales. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, that looks super. So after 14 months, it seems to have been well worth the wait and the £350,000 expense. The bed looks superb. It looks real snug. Everything inside has been built by hand and is unique to their specifications. Lay at night with a sky hatch open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, yeah, yeah, looking yeah. up at the stars. Yeah. Living inside this cabin for the next decade, it's important to have a few reminders of home. The bathroom has been personalised to us. I've chosen a mirror that I had shipped in from India and my Moroccan hand-hammered sink that has also been shipped in for me. But a hand-hammered sink won't be much use if the vehicle can't handle the toughest terrain the world can throw at it. So, there is still one more important test to undertake before their new home is ready for the road. How will David cope behind the wheel for the very first time? Coming up, is it 15th time lucky for Alan? Full-size toilet, which is nice. 
you've got your aircon unit directly above you. And we see what kind of campsite is fit for a quarter of a million pound motorhome. Right now, we're all feeling the pull of the open road and craving the wide open space that a motorhome holiday can offer. And there's perhaps nowhere where the size of your motorhome matters more than the world of the A-list celebrity. The motorhome is a new must-have for any celebrity. And the bigger the star, the bigger the motorhome. It seems to be real popular with the dames. Dame Helen Mirren, Dame Judi Dench, Dame Kelly Holmes. I know Joe Swash and Stacey Sullivan, they've recently purchased one. Simon Cowell uses his 30-ton traveling palace as both home from home and mobile production office. For two and a half million dollars, it also comes with a 22-seater sofa. Actor Will Smith brings the heat, literally. That's the name of his multi-million dollar trailer that rolls into town when he's on a shoot on its 22 wheels. And ever the diva Mariah Carey won't be outdone when it comes to size. Nicknamed the skyscraper, her 1,200 square foot trailer has its own VIP bar on the top floor. On the south coast, and after spending over a million pounds on 14 motorhomes in 14 years, Alan Lawson has arrived to collect the 15th and most expensive motorhome he has ever owned. And for wife Anne's sake, hopefully his last. At well over 300,000 pounds, his new purchase has a lot to live up to. Hi, Keith. You're Alan, how are you? Got the elbow bump. Right, follow me. I'll take you out to your, your new Concorde. After saying goodbye to number 14, he's only seconds away from what could be his new forever motorhome. Beautiful. Stunning. And on first appearances, it seems to be just what he's after. Like he's come off the factory floor. You've got the levelling jack system on this. Yep. So, obviously, at the push of a button, we're going to put the jacks down. So, I've gone on the days of parking on blocks, like your, your lower end vans. Obviously, that's just the back access to your macerator toilet, which I do believe is 230 litres. You have to go somewhere to fill that lot up. With the price tag of this size, every luxury is catered for. And the loo may be porcelain, but it still needs to be emptied. Full-size toilet, porcelain toilet. Obviously, not plastic. Full-size shower, which is nice. The oven. Mm -hmm. And your hob. You've got your aircon unit directly yeah. above you. Amongst the host of new features that hopefully will tick every box on Alan's long list, is a dual satellite TV system. If your wife wants to watch something in bed, you don't want to watch and you'll sat up here and watch something, she can watch something different. Brilliant. She hates football. I love yeah, it. perfect. Fantastic. And the features keep on coming, including the ultimate anti-theft device. It is a really good security yeah, option. It is, yeah. If you take that in your house and you've got them part this in a storage compound, um, as long as you've got that with you, nobody's stealing the van. After 15 years of trading his way up to the top of the motorhome market, Alan finally has the keys to his dream vehicle. But of course, there is one other person who needs to be impressed with the new motorhome. I hope that the missus thinks I've done the right thing this time. But I think if she's not happy now with this one, I think maybe I'll, I'll go and see about a divorce. Hey, yeah. Well, you're back then. You got yep. it. I have. I have. I've took it up the compound, dropped it off at there, but I took some photos for you. It's very nice. I like the low oven. Especially for you, though. And the glasses. All nice. There's no rattles, no squeaks. Every bugbear that the other van had, this hasn't got. It's nice. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I agree. Yeah. No more looking. Deal. Deal. Sound. <laughs> Even Doug Laws is hoping this finally could be the one. All right, then. So if that's the one, then you can take me on that dream holiday. I'll take you on that trip that we keep saying we're going to do. You want to come, mate? You coming too? <laughs> you on a holiday? If you thought Alan's vehicle was the height of extravagance on wheels, think again. 
because 360 miles across the channel in Dusseldorf, Germany, one manufacturer has built a motorhome worth almost one and a half million pounds. Weighing in at nine tons and 40 foot long, the Volkner Mobile Performance S is probably the most luxurious motorhome in Europe. But what else do you get for the equivalent price of a five bedroom house in London? Come inside into our Performance S motorhome. You can sit here very comfortable, watch TV, and you can sit here with eight persons sitting around the table. You get a fully equipped double bedroom, central heating and a full-size shower room. We have 800 litre fresh water, 700 litre wastewater and 400 litre water for the toilet tanks. That's five times the water capacity of an average motorhome. But it's outside that really takes your breath away. At the push of a button, this stunning electro-hydraulic platform emerges from an underfloor garage that gently places your very own sports car at road level. This feat of German engineering is so in demand, the waiting list to get one to Britain is over two years long. But back in Blighty, one person is already enjoying his quarter of a million pound motorhome. Entrepreneur Julian Grindle is headed to the South Downs to catch up with some old friends at his favorite campsite. But first, he has to negotiate the tricky country lanes. Big truck, obviously. We're, we're just under 10 metres long and we weigh 7.2 tonnes. We're 2.4 metres wide. So we have to be very careful, especially the overhead branches and cables, things of that nature. And it's not just branches you have to be wary of. You're not always popular. As you can see, you can't go that fast in them. Um, nor do you want to, because you could do some structural damage to your motorhome if you hit large potholes or uneven surfaces. You, you have to be very conscious of how you're driving. Now, this is a quarter of a million pound truck, so um, you don't want to, certainly don't want to do it any damage. But for Julian, just getting behind the wheel makes it all worthwhile. The ability just to go anywhere you want, when you want, it is a real privilege to be able to just uh, pack up and move on if you want to go and explore somewhere new. Um, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It's just freedom. However, when your motorhome is worth more than the average price of a house in the UK, you can't just stay anywhere. We only tend to stay in, in very, very sophisticated campsites. Campsites that have a very high standard. The reason for that is you're, you're tending to stay with people with a similar social standing. Um, which gives you, it's, it's much easier to mix with the people, in, enjoy time socially with them. For Julian, nowhere comes more sophisticated than concierge camping, owned by Lord and Lady Hodgkin, the friends that Julian is coming to see. My name is Guy Hodgkin, um, and between my wife and I, Tracy, we set up concierge camping in 2015. They have built up the site to set new heights in campsite luxury. There had to be a market for a little bit more luxury in the touring and, and camping industry. Gone are the days of slumming it. It doesn't have to be dirty. It can be clean, it can be shiny. And nowhere on site is this reflected better than in the shower block. These are five-star showers, better than you'd find in a five-star hotel. You've got rainforest shower heads in there, illuminated glass, products in there, help yourself so you don't have to take stuff in there. It's not just the range of free shampoo that's special. This shower block is actually an award winner. We also won Lou of the Year three times in a row, Platinum Award. An award-winning toilet, free shampoo, and an on-site street food van, and all this for 60 quid a night. So what kind of people stay at a place like this? We've had motorhomes of excess of 850,000 euro. And a deluxe site attracts a deluxe clientele. I mean, we have here, from footballers to celebrity people. And of course, their old friend, Julian. Tracy, lovely to see you. Yay. Hello, Guy. Hello, sir. And when staying with nobility, 
there's nothing better than a glass of champagne once the motorhome is parked up and the keys are safely put away. Upmarket campsites are all the rage, but what if it's space inside your motorhome you're after? In a small corner of North Yorkshire, HR Multisport is a small family company founded by Bob Ryder, who first tried his hand at building his own motorhome 40 years ago. First camper van motorhome will be based on a Ford Transit early days, Mark 1, Mark 2, and they had very primitive uh, equipment inside, but shelter, cooking, heating, everything was just uh, as it should be. And uh, for our little unit, going on holiday, it was perfect. Over the years, Bob took the experience from his first build and slowly realised this hobby could become a business. We identified that people were prepared to pay a premium for a finished article. Therefore, it could have become a business that our children could be part of, and they are part of it now. As their ambition grew, the family wanted to create a vehicle to accommodate their two passions, horse riding and sports cars. We'd had an idea where we could produce one vehicle that could carry a horse at one moment and then a car in the second moment. And we developed it. We called it the Multisport. It soon became clear that the demand was for a motorhome to carry a car, which didn't compromise on living space. What we wanted to create with the Skyline Dominator was something that could accommodate a person's car and the high level of living standards. Complete with built-in garage, this is perfect for taking your beloved high-performance sports car wherever you go. But for a starting price of over £280,000, what do you get for your money? Complete with built-in garage, the Dominator is perfect for taking your beloved high-performance sports car everywhere you go. However, the luxurious surroundings aren't just for your car. As well as a hand-built interior and top-of-the-range kitchen and living area, the real magic happens at the flick of a switch. The cabin doesn't just expand sideways for more living space, it also expands upwards giving this amazing double bedroom. For when you absolutely, definitely have to have the best there is. But being a small family business, there's just one catch. Bob can't afford one of these mega motor homes for himself just yet. One day, we would like to own one of these ourselves. We would be... Uh... Uh, achieved an uh, ambition in life when we get our own. Better start saving, Bob. Coming up, we meet a family whose love of motorhoming could make them a fortune. We are generating an income which helped fund the holidays. And it's the moment of truth for David and Charlotte's round-the-world dream. Have you any idea how frightening that looks? <laughs> As more and more people start owning motorhomes and setting off to see the world, sometimes it's hard to know where to go, and more importantly, where not to. Lindsay, Steve and their boys are the Radford family from Milton Keynes. They absolutely love climbing aboard their £90,000 motorhome and heading off into the vast unknown. Literally pick the kids up and go away at every school holiday, every opportunity, which is six weeks of that is during the summer holidays, and then you've got the Easter and the autumn holidays. We like to spend three months of our life in that motorhome of ours. In 2016, we did the Iberian Peninsula for the summer holidays. We took three weeks to go um, across northern Spain, down Portugal, and get to Gibraltar, and then we took another three weeks to come up the other side and come back. They've come up with a great way to combine making a living and seeing the world. We set up a YouTube channel for the Roman Radfords. 
and what the idea was was to shoot our travels in the motorhome vlog style. We're a family motorhome channel and if that's your thing don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. We've always um, taken lots of photos and we've always shared to our friends on Facebook. You tart. <laughs> you YouTube tart. So I know there are people who, before we go away each summer, send me a message going, oh, where are you going this year? Where are we going on holiday together this year? So it was kind of a natural next step to turn it into just something bigger. But uh, come and have a look where we are, because we're right on the beach. So there's our pitch there. And just down here is the beach. And we watch YouTubers and other travel YouTubers, and we just mm. figured, you know, we enjoy traveling. Why don't we share it with people and set up our own channel? Sharing their memories and travel tips via social media has become a great way of showing where they've been and also a nice little earner. And we started offering merchandise where people can buy T-shirts and um, sweatshirts and hopefully soon mugs. Um, and we've managed to monetize the channel as well. So we are generating an income from YouTube and the merch, which helps fund the holidays. OK, after a morning at the museum, we are heading about 130 kilometers southeast to another pool with a campsite to come back for the afternoon and the evening. The ultimate goal would be to generate an income on the road so we don't have to do our day jobs and we could literally shoot videos, upload them and generate enough of an income for the lifestyle. Probably going to head towards Valencia today. It's Lindsay's studio there, yoga. It's estimated a channel that has one million subscribers could make over £40,000 a year. With a promising start of 3000 the Radfords only have 997,000 more clicks to go. Who thought would anyone would be interested in watching our family holidays? But th they are, and it inspires us to, to shoot more videos. We'd love to go full-time in the van. So as long as there are places to go, the roaming Radfords will drive there, film it, then share around the world. In Doncaster, it's the moment of truth for David and Charlotte Stevenson, who are planning on spending the next 10 years traveling the world in this custom-built 350,000 pounds off-road motorhome that they've just seen for the first time. Creator of this monster hardcore motorhome, Gary, has lined up a test drive before the handover. Wow. Give it a go, and then it's full ownership to you. That's really uh, exciting. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> David and Charlotte hope to cross deserts, mountain ranges, and places no other vehicle could survive. At best, their marriage, and at worst, their lives, may depend on how the overlander copes with the extremes. Oh, here we go. Now that, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's made the old heart race a little bit. After a relatively simple test like this, how was it? How was that, honey? Have you any idea how frightening that looks? <laughs> that I was, know, listen, that desperate. was, that desperate. was, that was great fun. Like that. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, that was great fun. I so enjoyed that. That's, um, yeah. That's yeah, a taste of things to come. I didn't enjoy watching that. And how to treat your brand new motorhome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Oh, so. You are driving. And those hills. Woo. Yeah, but hey, look at this. How yeah. cool is this? Not quite the Serengeti, but hey, it'll do for a start. Yeah, that'll do. That's it. That's We've taken, taken delivery. Yeah. Next stop, North Africa. Ten years travelling the world in a motorhome. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Bon voyage. And don't forget to send a postcard. Mm -hmm.